What's up guys, it's Josh from Keep It Techie and today I wanted to show you guys how to search Wikipedia from the command line. So guys, I was scrolling down a subreddit which talks about Linux software and I came across a, a post about an application that allows you to search for Wikipedia search wikipedia uh from the command line so i wanted to show you guys this application and give you a brief overview on how to use it so i found their github uh the github github pages well the actual name of the application is wicked um and it's just a brief summary wikipedia summarize uh summaries from the command line uh these are these are the actual files and they have all the information on how to install it, the usage, examples, flags, and the output, what it looks like, example to output. So, uh, I wanna go through and show you guys how to install this. Um, and let's give it a try. So let's get started. So today I wanna show you guys how to actually install this on Manjaro, which is uh, Arch-based distribution, if you don't know. Um, I already have it on my desktop but I just want to go through and show you guys on a, a fresh machine uh, so let me make this big um, but anyway so the first thing you need to do is open up terminal and um, there are two applications that are dependent or that you need to install uh, wicked uh, one is node.js and the other is in PM, which is basically another installer I don't know much about it but I've seen it before I've used it before but it's uh, NPM I may maybe I need to look that up and see exactly what it is but this is the actual installer that you need to install wicked uh, so first thing we need to do is install those dependencies which is node.js so let's go sudo uh, pacman uh, dash capital S and node.js as well as npm so we want to install those two applications type in my password and bam and it'll install its dependencies and everything for node.js and install npm so cool so let's clear this out now the next step is to actually use npm to install the actual uh, uh, wicked application so how we do that is sudo uh, npm install um, and wicked which is the application and then what we want to do is put the dash g flag which basically means global so that means that this application can be used by any user that's currently on the system as well as um, any new users that are added to the system so it's a global application so anybody can actually use it uh, as long as they're logged into the system so so press enter on that that will install wicked for us all right cool and as you can see uh, it says added 76 packages from 60 contributors uh, in 90 some seconds but anyway it installed the latest version of wicked so um, so let's clear this and now let's go to the actual uh, help page and with most applications um, in Linux, uh, especially in the command line, if you run the command and the actual uh, dash H, that will give you the somewhat of a man page for it. Uh, I don't even know if this has a man page, but I'm gonna run it this way. That way I know for sure it'll pull in the information I want. But it's normally dash H or dash help. Um, and we can run it both ways, but it's dash H is basically the shorthand for help. Uh, so yeah that worked so here is just some more of that information it shows you how to use it uh, wicked the query which is the actual text that you want to search uh, and the flags and here are a few of the flags you can specify the language um, which is handy if you uh, live in a different uh, area 
and you don't want to use English or you want to look at it in, in a different language, that's a good way of doing it. Um, if you do dash B, this will open it up in the default browser, which is pretty cool as well. So you can actually search and then open the actual Wikipedia page in your default browser. And if you use dash dash browser and then actually type in the browser that you have installed or if you want to use a different browser, you can specify what it is, what the browser is. So you do dash dash browser and then either Firefox, Chromium, Chrome, whatever you have installed on your on your system. Um, and this is another cool feature right here. Uh, you can set the uh, amount of lines. Um, set the line wrap length so it'll go out a certain number of texts if you set something uh it'll go out a number number amount of text and then wrap the text based on my understanding of it i haven't actually ran it but based on what me reading it uh that's what it's saying it does and then this will print the version number so dash dash v uh, version or dash version which is the shorthand to print the version number of wiki so and here are a few examples and actually let's start with this one this will be our first example right there so let's clear it out uh, and the way you run it is wickets uh, and let's look at that one that they had in examples so wicked no js as you can see it, it was searching for a second because it's actually going to the web and then pulling out that first um summary of the actual wikipedia page now that's what i want to stress or whatever that it pulls the summary which is that first paragraph on most wikipedia pages so um if you go to Wikipedia, there's normally uh, a paragraph at the top that gives you a brief overview of exactly what you're searching or exactly what the page is about. And then further down, it gives you, you know, more details. So like uh, for my rap fans out there, let's uh, clear this out because uh, I'm a rap fan. So uh, let's search. I don't know. Snoop because I grew up in the 90s. So. Um, Snoop Dogg everybody knows Snoop Dogg but anyway search and there you go it finds uh, it pulls in that first paragraph of uh, who Snoop Dogg is and basically an overview of who he is and then just to give you an example of the browser uh, settings or the browser one you can put dash B at the end of it and it'll open it up in the default browser so Let's see if that comes up pretty quick and yeah it does and cool so like I said it brings up that first paragraph uh, so it normally stops like right here so I want to thank me in 2019 and I'm only reading that because I want to show you in the terminal that that's where it stops so I want to thank me 2019 so like I said that first paragraph it pulls in so you can do quick searches uh, like that um, it's pretty cool so anyway that's all I wanted to show you guys uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video um, please check out wicked it's a great little piece of software that'll save you time on clicking the mouse and going through typing in web website searching Google or whatever uh, you can actually just run this command on the command line and quickly pull up whatever you're looking for. So it'll save time for you, um, in my opinion. So check it out. And also, I appreciate you guys checking out the video. Please like, share, and subscribe. And of course, keep it techie.